hello everyone welcome back to my channel it is so good to be back in front of the camera you guys it's been a minute but i'm back i'm back i'm back if you're here for the first time my name is tina i am makeup with class by teen if you've already been here god bless each of you for stopping by clicking on this video and i'm here to bring you guys this review on this natasha danona bronze palette this video you guys is all about the eyes it's all about the eyes the eyes the eyes so if you are interested in seeing how i created this eyeshadow look and my review on this eyeshadow palette please continue to watch all right you guys here's the beautiful packaging what a perfect 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 packaging for it being a bronze palette. I love, love, love the packaging. Um, let me show you guys the inside. Of course, you have a big mirror. I didn't take the film off, but look at all these beautiful colors. Screaming neutral. Look at all the shimmers. I am so in love with this dark black. It's like a, it's a deep olive shade it is so 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 pretty i'm excited 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 about diving into this palette i don't know what we're gonna do but we're gonna start off with suntan we're gonna start off with suntan first and i am going to use a morphe m 441 blending brush you guys know these are my favorite brushes love 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 them i've already prepped my eyelids with my concealer and my setting powder and I've already put my brows in of course but this video is about the eyes honey it is all about the eyes so we are going to just blend this suntan shade right in that crease area we're going to use this as a transitional shade for this look so far I am loving the formula in this eyeshadow shade the formula is super creamy as you can see you can barely see it but we're gonna build this up we're gonna build it up and we're gonna blend 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 see what it looks like so far y'all i'm in love with the formula the formula is super creamy and pigmented as well this shade is more like a sunset autumn shade so i love how this is looking we're gonna move over to the next eye to this suntan shade is a deeper like a chocolate brown and we're just going to build it up in the crease right in here we're just going to deepen that area and blend away and i'm using a morphe m443 a morphe m433 blending brush with the remaining product 
from the first shade and I'm just going to blend those edges out. It seems as though these eyeshadows are a little bit patchy, but we're going to keep working with it. because I heard some good reviews, but we're going to just keep moving. Let's move over to the shimmer shades. We're going to try Alloy. So it's a shimmer shade. We're just going to pop that right on the lid. Well, I am amazed at how patchy these eyeshadows are. Very patchy. We're going to take that second shade and just blend out those edges. And around it. purchased any of her palettes because this is my first um I believe I bought like a mini palette from her but I've never purchased like a larger palette like on a larger scale I've, I've tried the mini and the mini did me pretty good I was really really pleased with the um the, the cream the creamy formula the pigmentation but I'm working with it <laughs> I'm working 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 with it Just feel like I need something else to this look. Let's see. We're gonna pop on silk. We're gonna put silk right here. We're going to leave it like it is for right now. We're going to add some liquid eyeliner. If I can find it, use my Sephora. Liquid eyeliner.
sisters. Here is the finished look for the eyes. Now, I did not want to do a dramatic wing, but this is what we got and this is what we're going for. So I'm going to fast forward and finish up my entire face and so we're going to come back and revisit this eyeshadow palette for the lower lash line. <music> shadow palette I am going to go with uh, suntan I'm just gonna blend that out <music> Mascara.
All right, you guys, I'll be back to give you guys my feedback on this palette. I'll be right back. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I must give you guys my honest review on this palette. I was extremely surprised at the patchiness in these shades. From the matte shades I use to the shimmer, I had to, you guys seen, y'all seen, I had to do a little bit more work than I would normally do with a eyeshadow look. Um, but anyway, the shades in here, they are super, super beautiful. I don't know if this is a bad batch. I'm not really sure, but yeah. I was not pleased with it, honestly. Um, the colors are beautiful, but the blend was really, really, really hard. It was, it, it, I just had to go into overtime with the blending, overtime. So if I would have to use this palette, if I had this palette for a client, it would not work for me because it would put in more time. I would have my client in the chair for longer um, minutes or I would have my client in the chair over the time that I normally would do a eyeshadow makeup look. All right, you guys, so this is my take on this Natasha Denona bronze eyeshadow palette. Thank you guys so much for stopping by, hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you do that for me. Hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified with the next upload. If you love all things makeup, fashion, lifestyle, and inspiration, this is the channel for you. Join the family. Thank you guys so much. You guys have an amazing, amazing day. God bless you. And I will be seeing you guys in the next video coming real soon.